Welcome to the monthly free tutorials for Rhino Gold 6.5. This month, September, we will show you how to make a uh, hoop earrings. So to start, because I already have the grid snap, I will start with a circle just from the center and I want the diameter and I will play press 20 millimeters. So as you can see now, here we have a total diameter of 20 millimeters. Now I will do the offset inside. So I go to the offset inside and let's see. Distance I have two millimeters. Two millimeters to me, it's okay. So there we go. Here we have the two millimeters. And now what I will do is just the walls where I will post the pin to make the the lock. Alright. So we will start here. I will do it in that way. I will just select the rectangle till here and then now on this one I will do just a mirror on the green line. As you can see here we have the green line. I will do the mirror on the green line. Now I select all the lines and from the drawing tab we will go to trim and I start just to trim all the parts that I'm not interested with so this one, this one this one as well this one, this one this one and this one so now we have the right shape shape for our uh, hoops I just go to join and now as you can say, see here says four curves join into one closed curve what will be next will be the extrusion. Um, now that I have to do the extrusion, the extrusion is a command that well, all of us will use very, very often. So, as you know, in the Rhino Gold, we have the quick access toolbar. As you can see, this is the quick access toolbar. Now I don't have it here. I am going to add the extrude here just in the quick access toolbar. So, first I look where the extrude is. So, as you can see, the extrude is in the surface okay in the surface tab so I go here at the right top I click on the quick access toolbar and I just select as we were saying surface so let's go for the S from surface surface and now inside surface I should find the extrusion extrude okay so I say add okay and now as you can see here I have the extrude this is very convenient because from now on at any time I just need to select the course that I want to extrude or surfaces and I just click here and I already get the extrude so here now in the extrude what I'm gonna do is just to click how far do I wanna go on each side 1.1 because I wanna set here stones 1.5 so now we have, if I go to the perspective, a 2.2 millimeters with hoops. I will hide these curves. And now I want to set a stones all this face and all this face as well. Alright, so first thing that we will use is the parametrical ISO curve. I select where I want to apply it. Yeah. and now I select where I want to start and, w and when where I want to finish this is okay so we have already here one curve and now I will do the same but on the inside part so now I just place where I want to set the stones in the inside part we need to keep in mind that we will build up a hinge here so like this probably will be okay so now we have the two different curves one and two all right now it's time for the channel I select the ISO curve channel I select where do I want to apply it here and what kind of channel do I want to apply? Inside channel. I go to the wireframe 
and now on the second tab is where I define my stones dimensions I will go for 1.5 okay now the software as you can see the, he is saying 9 but is not highlight this is because what the software is saying is making you see that this is on is making by itself so it's fitting all these stones keeping a distance of 0 0.10 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 but uh, still there is a bit of a space here so if you don't like the way that it looks what you can do is just do like this and do it at your own all right so now 13 it's okay all right what is next now i need to define how much inside do i want to go so to do that i just come here and i define here the channel so if the stones are 1.5 i will go for 1.5 three as you can see now I have all this part of the stone that will be inside the metal I can go even a bit more inside 1.25 okay so now I like how it looks like what is left now I need to drop all this part outside to do this I will do it like this you see here I just need to start to increase it all right now I'm already outside of the hoop and the last is the cutters so I'm cutting this channel so then I will have the nice shape for my channel before I start with us I uh, with this I can show you that you can move the stones up and down as well so now they are just the table on the surface but I can bring them down or up as you can see now I'm just dropping them a bit so we have a bit more of room to set these stones and I go for the cutters I press them on I just start to set up my measurements I will do this longer just keep in mind that this part is the part that is going to be hollow so what i will do i will make them a bit more thicker all right this is okay i press validate let me go to the shaded mode mode because this is what we get so now i just get all the parts and i will ungroup them so from drawing here i can ungroup so now as you can see I have the channel and the cutters now we have left just two boolean operations for modeling the first one is the boolean difference between this channel and the cutters let's check validate and now another another time the boolean the difference between this and the channel let's check and validate so now if I hide the stones I just move them as you can see we have here the channel to set the stones and all the cutters and we get this nice shape below all right so we already have one part made now I will do the other one I will do the same that I did on the top I will just have to turn them 180 degrees so let's do it again jewelry channel I already have the curve I select what surface inside channel I go to wireframe and here you can turn them so as you can see I'm turning them 180 degrees 
all right so now it's, as you can see it's just the stones facing on the other side I will go to the second tab as well I will do it automatically for 1.5 millimeter stones and I will add here let's see nine looks beautiful I will bring the channel in as I did before as well to 1.25 and now I will increase the channel at the top and at the bottom I will move the stones a bit down as well like this is okay so we have a bit more of room to set and now it's time just to move this out I will go for the cutters start the angle at the top now I increase the length to cut the channel and I will make them as I did before thicker okay so as you can see it's very easy validate so now what I need to do is to ungroup so we go to drawing I select this part and ungroup so now as you can see I have this part and this part so what I will do is from boolean I will select the boolean difference I want to keep this and I want to remove this let's check done validate and now another time the boolean difference between this part and this part check done and now we have just the stones here let me hide all the curves is if I select the middle button of my mouse I can select all the curves so I can hide them I can do the same with the stones I select all the stones and I hide them so now as you can see we get this nice result for our earrings all right now we have just two things left one is the hinge and the other one is just post here to make the locker so let's go for the hinge I'm just going to the jewelry to make the hinge okay. hinge I select what part do I want to put the hinge on I just bring it here make it a bit bigger alright so now if I do like this so you can see I have already the hinge done validate and now what I got is the two parts right so from drawing if I go to ungroup you can see that I have the two parts with the hinge already done okay even with the post so you have everything here I get them back together and now what I will do is just the post alright so here you can make any kind of hole this is up to you how you want to make it so the only thing that you need to do from the top or maybe from the front is just to trace, trace a line I will do it like this here to here and I will just make a pipe I click pipe I just set up the start radius that will be 0.4 and the end radius that will be 0 0.4 as well enter and we got this so now the only thing that 
uh, we do is just the right hole for this we can make it in a lot of different ways I don't know, you can just hide this one and from here from the right view a rectangle a bit smaller Use the extrusion. So I will have the strength to use it as a lock. So I just do the Boolean modeling, Boolean difference. So let me select the part that I want to keep. Boolean difference with this. Okay, and there we go. We have the right lock for this stone. And there we go. So these are the stones that we have at the front and at the back with the lock. So this is the hoop on channel setting. Hope you like it. Now it's time to try to make it to make it by yourself. And next month, October, we will make another tutorial for you. See you next month. Thank you.